Hello everybody, my name is Lunarco, and today I'm showcasing this new tutorial of smoothly transitioning the health bar. So as you can see, I have my roguelike 2D game that I'm currently working on. I'm going to shoot the boss. The health smoothly goes down to the next value. Um, I tried searching for a ton of solutions about this. Everything was talking about using coroutines or while loops, which actually just either doesn't work the way you want it to, or it freezes the game because the while loop was still happening. Uh, so basically, I went ahead and did my own way. Uh, the things that's required here, you need a reference to your slider, which in this case is my health bar. Uh, this is completely optional, but if you want to take control of how fast that transition happens, you're going to want to create this variable uh, lerp speed. Uh, you can make it public so you can change the value in real time. And you're going to need a uh, private float time. This is basically deals with the, uh, the animation time. And you're going to also need another value, which the health bar will animate too. So I have it to the current health. Um, this here, this method here, set boss bar, you don't have to worry about this. This is just how I uh, go in and set up the health bar when I spawn a new boss in my game. So don't worry about that. But here, uh, public void take damage. This custom method is very important. At any time you change the value of the bar, you really want to animate. So no matter if you decrease it or increase it, you're going to want to set time to zero so it resets that animation. What actually does the animating is this right here, animate health bar, uh, which is a custom method I have under update, so it's constantly updating every frame. And basically, all I do in here, I have two custom variables. One is target health, which I set it equal to the current health or the changed health. And the other one is start health, which is the current value of the health bar. And then you're always incrementing time by time.delta time times the lerp speed or the speed that you want the transition to happen this basically just makes it uh very consistent between all systems no matter the frame rate and what actually does the animating or the transition of the values is this line right here on line 40. basically all we do is get the uh value of the health bar and set it equal to the uh numbers in between or uh lerping the smooth trans uh transition between the start health, which is the current value of the health bar, and the target health, which is the changed value. And time is the uh, duration or the uh, overall time that took during that animation. And so that's basically how you get this effect where the health bar just smoothly transitions down to the next value whenever you go in and change the value. So when I go in and shoot, it smoothly goes down. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. Uh, I figured other people would be searching up this same thing for those having the same problem as me. So I'll have the important things that you actually need in the comments. Um, if you have any questions or you need any help or any suggestions for future tutorials, feel free to go comment them down below. Uh, I do also have a Discord server. You can ask me in there or share your work. I even share some of my stuff that I'm currently working on in there as well. So again. Thank you for watching. Uh, be tuned for more tutorials ahead of time.